I know I made a video response to this guy before, but I just can't help it. This guy has made a quote-unquote challenge towards atheists. And you know what? I am happy to accept his so-called challenge. So let's see what his challenge is. I hear voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. Oh my God. Dear friend, peace be unto you. Today I'm going to prove that atheists have no morals and are therefore evil. As we know, atheists reject beliefs that have no evidence. Therefore, if atheists have no evidence that morality is true, then we can conclude that atheists have rejected morality. Morality is, in fact, true. This applies to not just only atheists, but for everyone. Hindus, Satanists, um, even feminists, to a certain extent, have morals. All these group of people, almost every one of them have morals. It's because, and it's because we've grown up with these morals. We are teached about these morals. These morals have been implanting, uh, planting in us in our DNA. We know this stuff. It's not something that we just, that's something that just God written on it. And hell, it, it, it's, it's not just a God, but a Pacific God, and that's your God. And that's where I take lots and lots of issues. And like I said before, even if we cannot prove that morality is true, there's still a chance that God uh, might exist, but he didn't write in morality that our morality, we, can't, we invented our own morality. Just as they have rejected the existence of God. For an atheist to prove he believes in morality, he would need to show that there is one correct way to live life. However, when I ask atheists for evidence for morality, they get very confused and say things like, morality is based on empathy. That's not evidence. Well, that's not necessarily the answer, at least not completely. I mean, yes, empathy does in fact play a vital role when it comes to morality. But, let's see your counter-argument for this. That would be like me saying my belief in God is based on my need for truth. That wouldn't prove God exists now, would it? And let me guess, because morality must come from something, that something must be God! Ugh... <sighs> So if morality does in fact come from God, then our morals would be simply to follow God. You know, if God says the in the Bible that, you know, slavery is okay, then slavery is okay. So I got a question for you. And, you know, it says it in the Bible, literally, that slavery is okay. So are you okay with slavery? So, we the believers need evidence for our beliefs, but atheists don't need any evidence for theirs? The atheists are full of hypocrisy. That's because the burden of proof is on your hands, not ours. You're the one who's claiming that atheists do not have morals. Therefore, you have to prove that atheists do not have morals. You have to prove that your morality comes from a deity. Suppose we say that morality is just something we use to live together in society. That also doesn't mean morality is true. Uh, please explain how, exactly. No? Okay. Some atheists will admit that it's impossible to give evidence for morality. You know what they're thinking, though. Everybody knows that morality isn't really true. It's just a human invention. That means atheists can't say that it's true that murder is wrong. Yes, we can prove that murder is wrong, morally. Murder has nothing more but negative effects. The only one, possibly the only person that's gaining from this murder is the murderer. But everyone else has, you know, will receive a, a negative impact in their lives. They're going to receive trauma that that person is no longer walking among them. They're not going to just stop by and say, oh, look, some guy died. You know, he was like my friend or something, but he died. So, you know, what? I'm not going to grieve more for him because... That's doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. 
Therefore, atheists don't really have morals. Atheists Michael Roos and Edward Wilson have written that morality is just an illusion caused by our genes, a deception that makes it seem like morals are objective. In fact, all atheists think morality is a deception. All fucking atheists, now I know you're just straw manning. I mean, I mean, if you're aiming just to the, the super minority, those who believe that, you know, without a doubt that God does in fact does not exist, and, you know, morality is just part of a human concept, then yeah, I can understand, but all fucking atheists, now you're just pulling shit out of your ass. A mere illusion and nothing more. Atheists know full well that there is no evidence for morality. God is the evidence for morality. Yes, the God of the Bible, the one who supposedly flooded the entire planet killing everyone, including babies and children. Which, by the way, they have no idea what good and evil is. Because and he floods them all because they were all freaking wicked, except for Noah and his family. Yes, we got our morals from that God, specifically, and no other God, no, no other God, just your God. And where's the evidence for that? You got none. All it is is just based on faith. In their delusional thinking, if they pretend God doesn't exist, then they won't be morally responsible for anything they do. Uh, yes they do. They will feel morality res mor morally responsible for the actions they did. If they didn't, they would be considered sociopaths. But let's turn this around a bit. In order for a Christian, you know, there are some Christians out there who believe what they're doing is right because they believe in a God. Um, there was this father once who uh, spanked her daughter for, for seven straight hours because he convinced himself that this is what God wanted him to do. So, what did what did he do? I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. What he did, was it right? No. What he did was child abuse. That itself, and that pretty much shows that atheists are in fact moral. Because we know, and without a doubt, that what that guy did was completely wrong and stupid. And there are plenty of Christians who are completely psychopaths. So, yeah. I don't know. I guess believing in God, I don't know if believing in God makes you more of a psychopath or more of an idiot. Only through God can morality be true. If life was created for a purpose, then we can say there is one correct way to live life. Essentially, life is meant to be lived in accordance with God's purpose. Yes, our lives are meant to be pleasing God's ego at every freaking moment. What a wonderful life. There's no other way to justify belief in morality. If the atheists could think of a response to this, we would have heard it by now. So then why haven't you responded to my video? You are sounding very, very suspicious, mister. Why so quiet, atheists? Why are you ignoring me, man? Daniel, I have yet seen you debate anyone on YouTube. You know, I, I, I would really want to debate you. Or see you debate someone else like Deconverted Man. Or, um, let's see, The Amazing Atheist. Anyone at that matter, but you haven't debated anyone. Are you afraid to actually challenge real atheists? What exactly are you hiding from? Why are you hiding from me? Out of all the people in the world, I only have about 133 subs. I'm not that popular. You have nothing to lose from me. In fact, if anything, you have more to gain from me. With the lack of subs that you have, you'll be lucky enough to even, you know be known on YouTube. So, really, I really do wish that you come onto my channel, we'll set up a schedule to for you to debate me, and there we'll talk and we'll discuss things. I would like to see you try to prove me wrong, or anyone at the matter. 
But if you can't do that, then you're nothing more than a pathetic coward. I'm saying this in the bottom of my heart. You are a pathetic coward. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.